I still don't feel right. I'm getting me another pair. I, you know, <laughs> uh, just the thought of eating that yolk. Uh, I just need to get me another pair. I need one more pair. One more pair. And uh, that'll make a difference. Because, um, my God, I feel like that yolk is stuck in my throat. <laughs> Please, people, do not try to do what I do, all right? Do not try to do what I do. Remember how I put this like this? Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna grab, the, grab the stem like this. Put your finger underneath it there. Put your thumb over the end of it. And pull it. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a big pair. I don't know, I think they call these potato pairs. <laughs> Really juicy. Now, remember I told you about the bottom here? When you feel that with your lip, that's where you bite. This is a big one. This is the day before my birthday. I'll be 54 years old. See, we get the option that we can take the day off before or after my birthday. And if you got PTO time, you can use that to pay for your birthday. They took that away. Birthday would pay. They took that away. They took sick day with, away. Every three months they gave you a sick day with pay. They took that away. Then they took away the setup check. Every three months they give you $120 for being to work on time. They took all three of those things away. Unreal. Next thing you know, we're going to take away how they would pay. Because I have been on a lot of jobs where I can get paid for how they. I have. Mm -hmm. A lot of times because they're temporary jobs. Then I used to hate holidays. So my check was smaller. <laughs> yeah. so, but one thing they do got they don't like PTO. My niece in Milwaukee, she should She says that's what she got at her job. PTO. And what they do is uh paid time off. What they do is that uh, they don't have vacation time no more. That's over with. Vacation time. They took that away too. Yeah, yeah. 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 
the the top fourteen then. Ah. Birthday would pay, sick day would pay, a set up check, and then they took away vacation time pay. See before every year you get like your first year you get one you get one week vacation. Alright? Third year every other year third year you get two weeks vacation. Six years you it doubles, whatever. Six years you get three weeks vacation. Uh, I think it's eight years. I don't have to six years. After six years, you get three weeks vacation. I think that's it. Uh, well, I don't know. After ten years, you get four weeks vacation. After ten years. 12 years? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I never got that far. Even though I've been there for 20 years. But I lost all that when I got fired by Mike Quackle for supposed to be spinning my tires out in the parking lot. And he asked me, he come up and asked me when I came in the building, he goes, Did you, were you out there spinning your tires? I'm like, no, but I tried to. He goes, well, after tonight, you're done. I'm like, whatever. I didn't do it. I didn't spin my tires. We had this verbal thing. Verbal. No write-ups or nothing. But between me and him, we had this verbal thing. If I hear about you ever out there spinning your tires again, I'm going to fire your ass. You hear me? I'm like, yeah, whatever. So. Six years later, we get these guys with the too fast, too furious, and they're saying, show what you got, Kyle. That's when they had blacktop, though. See, before, when I started working there, they had gravel parking lot. Gravel. So it was very easy to spin your tires. Very easy. So one day I got pissed off. This is how this all started. One day I got pissed off, and uh, I put the truck in drive, low, floored it in my truck. Spun the tires. Then I put it in reverse, floored it, spun the tires. You know? And then I put it in the park and I shut it off. Well, this one lady saw me do that. She told Mike Quacko about it right away. Carl out there spinning his tires, ripping up the, the, the gravel. Or whatever. It's gravel. It's freaking gravel like no one else has never done it. Everybody does it. Everybody spends their tires in the gravel. It's gravel. It's dirt. It's gravel. It's nothing you can't wreck. You're not going to wreck it. Sure, you might put ruts in it, but the ruts get smoothed out every year. Anyhow, anyhow, so then she told my quackle, my quackle told me, you know, I better not hear about you ever doing that again. Were you doing it? I'm like, yeah, I did it. I did it because I was pissed off. Everybody does it. So then, uh, like I said, six years later, now they got blacktop. They have blacktop. So now it's harder to spin your tires. And uh, I got these big, beefy tires on my truck. I had 750 pounds of weight in the back of my truck for traction. It was right before winter time, or it was winter time. But the pavement was clean and dry. So then I got these two fast, two furious cars next to me, and one on each side, and they're ripping up the motor, so then I ripped up my motor. They ripped up their motor, so I ripped up my motor. And then the guy says, come on, Carl, show us the power, show us the power. Yeah, Carl, show us the power. So I put it in drive, I hit the brake, and I tried to spin the tires. I figured, well, I'll, hell, that, um, I was all the way at the other end of the parking lot, you know, and they're like, yeah, yeah, do it, we won't tell you, yeah, whatever. So I tried it, and they're all laughing at me. But the guy next to me, he did it. He did it in drive, and he did it in reverse. He left two strips of rubber. And he said, come on, Carl, do it, do it, do it. And I tried it, and it did nothing. It just ripped up the motor, and that was it. It wouldn't break loose. Ha, ha, ha. 
So then the supervisor came back there and told me to knock it off. And, you know, I guess uh, I had a blown head gasket or blown uh, uh, manifold gasket, so it was kind of loud. You know, it's a 318 motor, big V8. You know, they, so it made a lot of noise. You know, so he told me to knock it off. I'm like, okay, whatever. The old guys were already gone. You know, they left before me. They took off and left. But then the supervisor told me to knock it off. I'm like, okay. That was a different supervisor. So as soon as I came in and I got into the paint line, Eric Parker told me, Mike Quack was looking for you. Go in the back and he'll never find you. He said, if I would have went in the back, it would have never happened. And I would still have my job. Because... Mike Quacko, he's the kind of guy, you know, at the end of the day, he's out the door gone, you know, and he ain't going to waste no time looking for me. But then um, if he would have found me Monday or whatever, and then he would probably have been cooled off or whatever, had a little talk about him, and that's it. Probably would have still had my job, whatever. So after he fired me, guess what? Two months later, they fired him. You know what he was doing? See, he used me. He said, I just fired Carl Kish. And they go, for what? For spinning his tires out in the parking lot. Which is a lie. I didn't spin them. I tried to spin them, but I didn't spin them. I even told him that. He didn't care. See, what he tried to do is use me as an example. Concentrate on Carl Kish. Over here... Here, over here, Mike Quack was taking steel from the company, building trailers, welding trailers, and having us paint them. So now, I'm gone. ASMR. Now, we're concentrated on my quack. Okay, I heard the rest of the story was that he was banging the quality control lady upstairs. Upstairs they have these apartments for the pork truckers. Apartments. Shower, kitchen, everything. Washer and dryer and all that. A place for them to stay, you know, so when they traveled from far away, whatever they had a place to stay for water spurts, whatever. So, uh, one day, uh, Jim Boyd was checking the place out. That's what he did because he owned the place. Jim Boyd did before he died. And he heard this, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, boom, boom, boom. And he was just really giving it to her. I guess Jim Boyd kicked open the door. Said you and you fired. Get the fuck out of my building. That's what I heard. And also, also heard that uh, they found out what he was doing using their steel. Because every time they did, at the end of the year, they did uh, inventory, and they were always eighteen hundred parts short. 1,800 parts short. Steel. Short. Oh, well, yeah, it's Mike Quackle building them trailers and having us paint them on the company time. I heard he was waiting for that, too. <laughs> yeah, so... Once I heard that Mike Quackle was fired, they brought me right back. Yeah, there was this other guy that worked there. I guess he was Hungarian too. He was a young kid, 18, 19 years old, hot shot, wanted to run the whole show. He, he wanted to tell everybody what to do and that. His post been real good at that. Anyways, he developed this diaper rash. He got this rash, I guess he... See, dealing with that powder, we're doing powder coat, and that stuff gets into your skin. Some people can handle it, some people can't. And you start getting this rash. 
He starts scratching that. It's worse than you. He starts scratching it. And he starts getting infected. And it starts spreading throughout his whole body. And then he said, by the time when he got down to his nutsack, he said to the doctor, what is wrong with me? <coughs> the doctor advised him to quit his job immediately before he's going to have more issues with his private area. He gave him a cream and the lotion and recommended that he quit his job. He did. As soon as that happened, second ship needed another painter. Where are we going to get a painter? Where are we going to get a painter? Where can we find a painter? Mike Nelson's like, duh, Carl's still waiting for to get put back on. Carl can paint. Oh, shit, forgot all about Carl. Mike, can you tell him that he can come back? I guess I will. Yeah, duh, I guess I can go over there after work and tell Jackass that he got his job back. Mike Nelson hated him because he's the one that always said they'll never bring me back. My ex girlfriend said they'll never bring me back. I collected unemployment. I got unemployment. You know why? Unemployment caught it. Said uh, inadequate decision of dismissal. You can't fire somebody without any write-ups for any good reason. If I was not punched in, I was not punched in. He cannot fire me for not being punched in. Whatever he could have did was call the cops on me for him having me disturbing the peace and attempting to destroy property. Attempted to s destroy property. He could uh, could have got me a fine. That's about it. Two hundred fifty dollar fine. That would have hurt me even worse. Because I wasn't really making that much money. But he had no right firing me. Some people say I could probably fight it in court or whatever, and get back all my vacation time that I lost. You know. Well, uh, 20 years. I'm like, uh, I'm not worried about that. As long as I got a job, I'm happy. YouTube Carl Kiss subscribe. See you later. This is my story, and I'm sticking to it. I have no reason to lie. Love y'all.